He said, well, you get to a point where you have to quit looking for a space. You know, maybe a bigger space isn't there. And I said, we can't. Boy, was it a close call here at the Salvation Army Niles. Friday, they showed me the space they didn't have for Feed the Sheep program. 170 backpacks lined up in this small sanctuary with literally no space for the 230 more they expect this year. Nobody should have to be said no to. The clock was ticking. School is right around the corner. And for the families that count on this food, they were worried they would be turned away. Even though I'm a bus driver, it is still hard to provide. We met Maria Brown Friday. She counts on the Salvation Army as a single mother of three kids just getting by. She pleaded on TV that someone, anyone, would come forward to help. Please come forward. I mean, this, this program is a lot of help. It is a lot of help. Jan, let's talk. We have space and shelving in our basement. Jan Nowaklum couldn't believe it. That email came from here at the Niles Public Library, saying they had plenty of space in the basement for the program. We all toured and went through the spaces and looked at what she had and was so excited because it's more than we could have asked for. The basement, as you can see, serves now as storage from Christmas trees to rows and rows of books they sell. As you walk around, you can see all the room that's available. Hello? Hi, is this Maria? Yeah. The most exciting thing for Jan was to call Maria and let her know that her kids will be taken care of this year. The Niles Public Library has stepped up and is willing to partner with us and give us space for the program. They are? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs>